The fall of Thomas Hobbes marks a watershed in modern philosophy, and he is considered to be the founder of modern political theory, influencing such thinkers as Locke, Rousseau, Kant, Hegel, and Marx. Hobbes was born in 1588 in Malmesbury, England, and died in 1679, living through a tempestuous and uncertain epoch. As a tutor to an aristocratic family, Hobbes once saw a copy of Euclid's Elements in the house library. Looking at the conclusion of a proof, he exclaimed, By God, it's impossible! But following the proof back line by line, he discovered that what had seemed unlikely at first was actually the truth. Hobbes followed a similar method in his philosophy, starting with obvious truths and proceeding to unobvious conclusions. Hobbes thus conceived of human reason as a linear computational process of adding and subtraction premises one to another. In opposition to the dualism of Descartes, Hobbes was a materialist, believing he could explain sense experience, imagination, memory, and understanding in wholly mechanistic terms. Following from this, Hobbes was a staunch nominalist, that is, he held that the only universals are names, which are supplied by humans in order to account for their subjective experience. Furthermore, truth resides only in definitions, which in turn are derived from humans themselves. This facet of his philosophy matched with his famous tenets about mankind being naturally evil, brutish, and in need of constraint by the state, perhaps explains Hobbes' basic mistrust of rhetoric. He saw it as an easy tool for demagogues to subvert the authority of the state, which is the only thing that prevents chaos from breaking out. Despite his own misgivings about rhetoric, Hobbes' philosophy provided the underpinnings for de developments in 17th and 18th century rhetorical theory, particularly the trend toward modalistic models. Thus, in rhetoric as in other fields, Hobbes is a towering figure in modern philosophy.